Welcome back to Celebrate Michigan. I'm Lauren Stemberger. Hi, I'm Chris Benson, and joining us today is Kimberly Cardesia of Hidden Promise, an equestrian facility where riders, non-riders, and small groups learn with the help of horses how to create a better life. So, uh, Kim, this is not our first time meeting because I actually have traveled to Hidden Promise and had a session, and um, it was awesome. Um, I wouldn't consider myself a, um, a horsewoman. Uh, I've had not a lot of experience with horses, but the uh, workshop that we had was really neat. Um, and I, hopefully you remember that we sat down and we were just talking in the first segment about mindfulness. Like when you come into um, the space with a horse, you really have to be present because mm -hmm. if you bring baggage, they know, they you, know. Got, they know you got the baggage. <laughs> so um, you mentioned about counseling and I know we did kind of a, a neat mindfulness workshop. What other kind of workshops and, and things do you do for clients? Um, in addition to the mindfulness, I have one called Equine Intelligent Leadership oh, cool. that we break up and we do usually a series of three so that there's kind of a, a combination of processing, journaling, working with the horse, and then you have time to go back and um, integrate that and implement and then come back and, and get another dose and see how things have changed and how your interaction with the horse might have changed. So what could a horse tell me about my leadership style or lack thereof? <laughs> well, what can I learn from this? <laughs> um, whatever it is that you have to pick up, put down, learn, mm -hmm. change to be able to lead a horse are generally the same skills that you would need to be able to lead your life in the direction that you choose. Mm -hmm. In my session it was interesting because I, I remember Kim said, okay, so there's the horse, you're gonna go and greet the horse, say hello, and then um, maybe you'll lead around the ring. Maybe you'll walk with the horse. And then there were some cones and there wasn't a lot of direction given. It was mm -hmm. just see if you can communicate with this horse and you guys can accomplish this task. And it was really, we did, it was fascinating. And, and then reflecting back, I thought, okay, there were times when I wasn't quite there and the horse kind of stopped and looked like, <laughs> You're not in the moment. Like, what are you doing? You know? And so I thought that was, it did help me really think about, okay, what am I sending out, you know, as I'm trying to walk through this experience with this 1,200 pound animal? I don't know even how much it weighs, but it was, it was really fascinating. Right. So I bet. That yeah. sounds like a great experience. Now, for someone like me, I will admit I am not a horse person and a little ac ac actually terrified. Do I have to be a horse person to come to these sessions? No, you don't. And Actually, um, in addition to do counseling, I also work with riders who have fear issues. Oh. Uh -huh. So it, it kind of all, the same approach can be used in both venues. So we, we take things slow and keep you safe emotionally and physically. And yeah, you, you don't need to know anything about horses. Okay, great. Well, that's great that yeah. people, you know, from from all backgrounds and all different levels, comfort levels can come and still mm -hmm. come to your sessions.